Hello and welcome back to Maths with Mr. Duffield. I am the aforementioned Mr. Duffield. I've had um, a pupil in my UF contact me with a bit of confusion about um, a textbook exercise, specifically whether or not the answers that she got um, are right and maybe the answers that she's been provided with are indeed incorrect. May well be the case. Let's check. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of each of the following series. So, first 20 terms, n equals 20. And for 1c, the first term is 3, i.e. a equals 3. The common difference is 5, d equals negative 5. The formula, for those of us who are not fluent as of yet, is this. n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. Let's substitute in the values. 20. 20 divided by 2, 10. If a is 3, 2a is 6. 20 take away 1 is 19, and the difference is negative 5. So... It's 19 times negative 5 plus 6. So it's 10 times negative 89, making it for minus 890. I have a sneaking suspicion that that contradicts the answers that's on the doctor, uh, sorry, not the doctor, Frost, on, on the team's page. So I wanted to make sure that that was confirmed for you guys. 1D, similarly, it's the first 20 terms, n equals 20. The first term is 5, the common difference is negative 3. It's exactly the same exercise, I'm using the same formula, the numbers have changed. That is the only element of this that's any different from what we did before. So 20, that's going to be 10. 2 times 5, that's 10. Uh, 20 take away 1 is 19 times minus 3. 19 multiplied by negative 3, negative 57 plus 10, negative 47. It's 10 times minus 47. Okay, that makes negative 470. Again, I have a feeling that the answers that I was provided with are actually these, negative 890 and negative 470. Really important to get bid mass right here. So 19 times negative 3, that gets done first, and then 10 gets added on to it that kind of thing. Now I believe there was one uh, more question that was asked for confirmation about, so I'm happy to get cracking with that because that took no time at all, didn't it? Question 8. The second term of an arithmetic series is 95 and the fourth is 91. Find the first term and the common difference. Now for this we need to revert back to, well, how do we label up the terms of a, of a sequence um, or series in terms of a and d. So the first term is always a. The second term is always a plus d. The third term is always a plus 2d, and so on. So the number of differences is always n minus 1. That's where n minus 1 comes from in this little formula that we use when we're summing series. So if the second term of an arithmetic series is 95, that means a plus d, the second term, this is the first, this is the second, is 95. And then the fourth term would be a plus 3d. And we're told that that's 91. Oh, that's interesting. What I've got here is a pair of simultaneous equations. If I label this one as 1 and this one as 2, and then enact 2 take away 1, that is this equation, take away this equation, I'm left with, well, a plus 3d, a take away a is, is nothing, 3d take away 2d is 2d, and 91 take away 95 is negative 4. So for this question, the difference is actually negative, negative 2 every time. You could just as easily have realized, have, have figured this out just by saying, well, if the second term is 95 and the fourth term is 91, the third term has got to be 93, that's taking away 2 every time. Um, the first term though I can work out by immediately just kind of uh, substituting this difference into the equation. a uh, plus d, that means minus 2, equals 95. So a equals 97. So the difference is, is negative 2, and the first term is 97. It, it's, it's possible to do this algebraically, as I've shown you. It's also possible just to kind of look at the question and think for a second, to be honest. Find the sum of the first 100 terms is part b. Oh, I need to make sure that this stays in view. So that 100, n is 100. We know what a is, and we know what d is. 
and this is just using the formula again, isn't it? 100 over 2 times 2 times 97 plus 99 times negative, whoops, negative 2. Okay, that's just using the formula that I have uh, been using up until this point. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 2 times 97 is 194. And 99 times negative 2 makes negative 198. So 94 take away 198. Oh, I need to remember to keep moving this stuff up. 194 take away 98 is effectively negative 4. So 50 times negative 4. Negative 200. Now you might say that I'm being um, silly by, by checking this on my calculator, but <laughs> from past experience and past videos, I'm learning that it's wise just to be extra, extra careful, and I'm, I'm, I apologize for the implicit dumbness that must be communicated right now. Okay, um, part C. Sn is the sum of the first n terms. What is the maximum value of Sn? What is the highest value it could possibly be? Well, we need to um, we need to re we need to figure out effectively the all of the positive numbers of this of this series, right? If it's going down by two every time, there's going to come a time where the series becomes negative. Now, wh at what point is it? If a equals ninety seven and the difference is negative two, at what point does um, the, the series become negative. So what is it? 97 plus ooh, n minus 1 times negative 2. Oh. At what point does that become less than 0? What's the, what's, the, what's the value of n for which this, this, this term is, is negative? Let's work it out. 97 uh, that's n times negative 2, minus 2n, plus 2, uh, bigger than 0. So if I add 2n to both sides, um, 99 has to be smaller than 2n. So dividing both sides by 2. So 49.5 has to be smaller than n in order for that to be the case. Okay, so that's not, it might be a little bit nonsensical from what I've been talking about because I've been figuring this out literally um, live in front of you. But listen, clearly some key values are n equals 49 and n equals 50. What's the 49th term of the sequence? What's the 50th term of the sequence? Well, the 49th term is 97 plus 48 times negative 2, isn't it? What's that? 97 plus 48 times negative 2. That happens to be 1. So the 49th value, the 49th term of this series is 1. What about the 50th? 97 plus uh, 49 times negative 2. I think you might be able to check to see where this is going at this point. Ah, that's negative one. So the 50th term of this series, the 50th term of the series is negative one, and the 49th term of the series is one. Okay? If you didn't really understand what I was doing up here, don't panic. This is the this is the crux of the question. If the 49th term is positive and the 50th term is negative, that means the sum of the first 49 terms is going to be continually adding positive numbers from 97 to 1 with the difference of 2 between each. As soon as I begin adding the 50th term onwards, the total sum is going to start decreasing. So when I'm asked for the maximum value of the sum of n, in this case, it's the first 49 terms, because the first 49 terms are all positive, so we'll all be increasing the sum. I hope that that makes sense. So let's take n to be 49. And again, a is still 97 and d is still negative 2. Substitute those values in. 49 over 2 times 
2 or yeah times 2 times 97 plus 48 times negative 2 again let me just move that up so you can see what's going on here with that done because that's just taken from the formula that we've uh, we we've, we've had all this time 2 times 97 is 194 49 over 2 24.5 and then 48 times oops times negative 2 makes negative 96 194 take away 96 uh, 24.5 times 98 is the final kind of uh, calculation here 2,401 should be the total, the maximum total uh, sum of all of the uh, series, given what we've been talking about. I, I hope that that makes sense. That's quite a tricky question. It requires uh, really understanding, like, at what point does a, a, the term of a series go from being positive to negative? That's, that's forming this inequality solving it to work out the, the exact point, the exact term numbers for which the, the sequence is going from positive to negative, and then using that knowledge to effectively sum all of the positive terms in the series to maximize the total um, sum. This is, the, this is the terms of the series that, that will add up to the biggest possible number, therefore. I hope that, that makes sense. Um, I wish you all the best in your future endeavours, and uh, <laughs> for goodness sake, get your work done on Teams. I will talk to you very soon.